What's going on, Gameologists? Welcome back to Experts Play. My name is Cameron Fath, and with me, as always, Israel Wright, and we are back with even more missions from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I've seen what? some of the new what? night vision devices that the army is starting to incorporate. Uh, you can actually see the outlines of individuals like that in it. And a lot of these new goggle systems incorporate IR as well. So you're able to switch from IR to night vision as well as go from like in IR, it's typically white hot, which all like the name implies, everything with heat is white and everything around it's black. I only know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. Damn right. What the hell yeah, is that? Yeah, love it. Can't say I ever had a, uh, a grappling gun before though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they definitely uh, knocked into Bruce Wayne's armory here. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't just the Mexican armory. That was Batman's armory that we uh, stumbled <laughs> yeah. across in the barn. A Mexican special forces armory. Where is Alejandro? Right Where is he? Swear to me. Just hop up in the tower where everyone can see you. It's all right, they can't see ghosts because he doesn't exist. Oh, I see there's a ladder to get up there. All right. Cause if it's not Scottish, it's crap. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. I like how he switches to his pistol though. That's a good technique. <laughs> like that uh, bolt cutters he's got on there. We might have featured that on our earlier episode of Shift Fire. I'm pretty sure those are the uh, exact models we used too. Smoke him. Take him down. Slice, 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 stab, slice, and stab some that more. That third stab was a little unnecessary, but it's fine. Oh no, mini game. Oh no. Game. I like how Rodolfo has zero ear protection. Yep. Unless everybody has suppressors on all their guns, Homeboy's not gonna be able to hear anything in a little bit. No, oh, no. That's one thing that I noticed in like video games or like in movies even, that they completely miss the mark on is dudes will just shoot without hearing protection. And I did that in Ranger School and that's why I'm 100% <laughs> knife kill. Knife kill. All knife. Uh, I oh, mean, okay. oh, it's damn. wrong by oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Same difference. Same difference. Oh no! You're gonna have to plan your coordinated strikes. How is that guy not seeing you? He has no pro. He's got a hood on. He's so. the, oh yeah, I'm sorry. He does have a hood on, and he probably got headphones in, listening to the PCFM podcast. So he's distracted. Wait. Oh, okay. Knife kill is. I'm pressing the wrong button. Shoot. And it's just yeah. ghosts you're controlling. All right, we're going to go around these guys. We can't take them out. Uh, typically, so what Izzy's doing, he's not going to commit to this fight because he is completely outnumbered three to one. Now, if you want to talk about like conventional, like in the military, how we decide to act on a, on you know a threat, typically you need three to one in order to you know win that fight. Is typically how we kind of do the math of how successful we will be in a firefight. So right now, they have the advantage on Ghost, but say there was three of Ghost and one of the guys, then yeah, we'll take that fight all day. So you kind of have to know when uh, when not to strike and when to strike. It's kind of like, you know, if you're out with your buddies at the bar and you are, for example, if you're 5'7 and 170 pounds like I am, am I gonna go pick in a fight with someone that's 6'4 and 300 pounds? Probably, but I'll still lose. But it'll be a good story. Um, but yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to commit to that fight. Uh, man, I guess it's just a matter of uh, checking out the patterns and making sure I don't get seen by the other guy. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky, dude. Snick. Unless you shoot him when he gets to the farthest point. That way, you don't have to worry about a roamer. Oh, oh, oh you better hurry! Oh God, it's good. Okay, I think you're good. Oh man, I, I gotta I gotta check my buttons, man. Yeah, you gotta confirm the buttons. I'm having I had an ND with my trigger. <laughs> I'd shoot that guy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank God. Down. Okay. All right, that's one. Okay, that is one. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. Like, what do you think? Here, thinking? here. I'm. I'm. Okay. This guy's. He's always standing right there, but this guy can see him. This guy's up on the balcony. We need a distraction of some kind, so I'm probably gonna try to sneak across here. Cause some sort of, oh, oh two guys over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, and it's just one of you, right? Yeah, it's just me. Right now. I'm worried about that guy on the balcony. Is there anything on those lights? Can you take out those lights? Uh, shoot him. 
I don't think you can shoot. I think I probably have to kill the power. The power goes over to here. I think maybe. Yeah. I think you can move there, and then those dudes seem pretty pre preoccupied. So when the guy's moving from right to left, or you could probably move now. Cool. Oh! Uh, yeah, so wait till he. Uh, yeah, wait till he does the thingy. And then, yeah, move. there you go. He's going inside. Knife kill, knife kill, knife kill. Let's see some knife work, LT. I got! Gotcha! Yeah, sucker! Alright, probably probably would want to move that body, but that's I don't not think an I can. Here. That's yeah. not an option here. Go now. Is anybody else? I feel like I want to get this guy. Oh, oh he's wait coming a second. back, he's coming back. Wait a second. He's gonna see his buddy's corpse just laying out in the open. I don't think, as long as he doesn't get around, come around the corner, I'm okay. I want to take this guy out of the car, but I don't want this guy to shoot to see me. I think you're good, though. Right. Knife Are you going to shoot that dude? There we go. You're good. Okay. One guy's not doing anything. This guy's distracted. This guy's, I, I think he's on a circuit, so I just got to wait for him to. Yeah, hey, you just got to. Hey, how are you doing, Jimmy? To his pattern oh, yeah. of life. Hey. Or I could go up top, out. I guess. Go up top. Try to bypass him. Maybe when he's in that corner, you uh, you shoot him because he's behind the barrels. Like right here, or you know where he was, he was just looking at the wall over there. Yeah. So he was on a cycle. He's gonna talk to that guy. He's gonna see what he's doing. He's gonna go over to the next guy. See what he's doing. And then he's gonna come over in that corner. When he's in that corner, I would shoot him because he's behind that barrel. You don't think he'll see him? I don't know. That guy kind of just he's he seems like he's droning. Okay. He's kind of he's got the maybe he's a little light blind, you know? Yeah. All right, we'll give it a shot. Well, what's the worst that could happen? They take a shot. That's right. Oh wait, no. Oh, I gotta get a knife kill. I gotta get. A knife oh, kill. okay. Show something shot. Yeah, that guy looks pretty. Uh... All right, he, that guy's totally oblivious. Because I don't know so about you, but oblivious. I probably would have seen. Probably. I mean, that guy's distracted, looking for stuff. I would shoot homeboy. That's super oblivious. Yeah. And then shoot what the guy in the butt. Like yeah, so oblivious. Yeah, he's definitely listening to the Yeah, PCF these guys, they, they deserve to die. They deserve to die. Okay, there's a lot of dudes in here. A lot of, I see four, four five guys yeah, total. Five guys. Yeah, four internal, uh, one on the the exterior of the fence and the wall. I don't think he's looking. I'm going to go for it. Go, go for it, dude. Sprint across. Slow, wow, smooth, oblivious. Smooth fast. The one thing about wearing all that face... <laughs> <laughs> Dilly does super oblivious. Wreaks havoc on your peripheral, yeah. Oh, knife kill inbound. Oh, you think uh, knife kill? Yeah. Drop button, drop himself. No, wait. Oh, go no, back, go, go back. back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. All right, now we'll now. go up there. No, oh, God, I thought he was going to go. Yeah, he's going to take the long oh, way. Oh, no. All right, we got him up there. We got soap right there. Yeah. yeah. We got two guys here. That guy's moving. You can jump down and hit the power there. Hit the power. That'll drop this thing. This that, but that's gonna cause the guy to come over here. So I gotta make sure that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't get seen by him. So methodical. Is this guy gonna come around, or is he just gonna go I back? I think and he's forth? gonna go back over there. Yes, yeah, so you're probably good to jump down now. Go down. He didn't see my shadow. My obvious shadow. Turn it off. Need a diversion. Good. And then yeah, move there because that guy's gonna come and investigate. Oh, did you get the the power off? Yep. Recommend your blade. Oh no! Oh, oh ghost! Oh! Damn! The that dude over. just blasted you. I guess he got got really perceptive. His powers yeah. of perception are large. That's crazy. Okay, we're back. <laughs> that guy's gonna get more props than the, the dude who shot down the Chinese spy balloon. <laughs> okay, I know that if I turn the power off while he's over there, he's gonna come around the corner and see me. Unless I, unless I just don't. Uh, you know what I could do? Turn the power off and kind of head over here while that guy, while that guy's investigating, I could take out his buddy and head to the roof. Yeah. Well, well, I guess as long as he doesn't come back, I'd be okay. I don't think he cut the power off, did he? What's that? Because not a lot like changed when you cut the power off. Well, that guy starts coming over here. You know, and that guy's still, he still sticks to his circuit. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe cut the power. Cut the power, jump back up and jump back down over here. Yeah, and then go that way. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's let's, let's, let's experiment. Try. Yeah, let's just yeah. experiment a little bit. We need a diversion. Roger. 
I don't oh, think you jump back up. Oh, oh you shoot. can go around though. Got too close on you. No, right there. Oh shit. You could probably cross to the vehicle. But he's no. gonna see you. He's gonna see you. Make go to the other play. side. Oh. Whoa! Oh lord, oh lord. Way to just make it happen, oh, dude. <laughs> Way to just shoot him. No, God! Oh, I put the wrong button! Jeez. Ugh. This, I, Sorry, I, I said shoot him. I said shoot him. Well, yeah, but I, I meant to, but I. I you went to the wrong button. Oh, you went to knife him? Yeah, I just I keep messing with my freaking buttons. It's okay. But I think, and, you, I think you just know you can do it with just speed and aggression. Yeah. You gotta catch him completely off guard. I'm not going. Yeah, he's not even looking. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh now, now, now he sees me. Yeah, now he sees you. All right, let's try to change up our text. I'm gonna try to go the other way. You know what? Maybe let's let's not cut the power. Because when we cut the power, those two guys come over, and I got all these dudes to contend with. <laughs> he saw me and then let himself get killed. Yeah. Okay. And now he's just taking a knee in the middle of the thing. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. Just don't cut the power. Okay. Uh, can you sh But that guy on the rooftop. You're good. He seems like a pro. Sure. Well, if you don't need to kill him, you don't need to kill him. If you just sneak around. But that guy on the I'm rooftop, he... I feel you like can't he... shoot him, though. You only have to knife him, right? Because he's up armored? Well, yeah, he's up armored. Oh, I got a way up. Maybe I can... Come well, now you here can cut he... the power to make those guys move. Yeah. And then take out one at a time. Yeah, I can kind of, maybe I can skirt around them. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Okay. Because when they cut the power, they, they separate. Well, to be honest, cut it in real life scenario, like we, we never know where the power boxes are located unless we have an amazing, amazing building layout. But typically when you're running reconnaissance operations, you get like an external layout of the building, which if the power is located on the outside, that's great. That's amazing intel. But it also depends, are we, are we going at nighttime? Are we going through the daytime? Um, and then also, does the enemy have night vision capabilities? Um, you know, cutting the power may be a great thing. The heck? Um, but it all depends on what you, it all depends on traditionally the ends to your goal. All right, let's try to get up there. Okay, yeah, 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 I think, there you go. Right, right button, button. the button and the trigger. Button, trigger, button, trigger, button, trigger. Dive bomb up. Whoa, Dive yeah! bomb! <laughs> From the top rope, look out, look out, look out! With the steel knife! All right, now we're on to the next section. Okay, here we are. We Gun have three. Made it. Move left. Oh, God. Oh, you can probably knife kill that dude, man. Yeah, totally knife kill that guy. Use your knife. Before he gets in the truck. Hey, gotta talk to you about your car's extended warranty! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then shoot him and knife the other guy. Hell yeah. Clear, go. Are oh, you just gonna go for it? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Right button. Why is this so hard for me? Sleep tight, shit hole. <laughs> That's him. Uh, That's him! Uh, there's that good looking That's Alejandro. Who's in solitary? We got him. Wait, let's send him to hell and get inside. Oh yeah, boink, boink, boink. That dude just looked back at you. Yeah, he didn't even do anything. Go clear. Suckers! Wow, they really are like, here, if you wear this hood, it'll look super cool. Taking your weapon, son. He's got big old, big old grenade launcher on it. Only carrying 70 rounds on him though. Hmm. <laughs> knock, knock. Housekeeping! Oh! I like the pass off where you just conks him in the head. Clearing this place with a deployment bag on his back. That's what I'm talking about. So, we'll keep him busy up top. Now you got a grenade right behind you. Oh, I got Rubble level. You want to put that guy out of his suffering or what? Let him bleed. <laughs> let him bleed. I'll just let it rip. Here's a Molotov for you. And it did nothing. It did nothing! It blew up the wall behind you, him. Yeah, you got the corner on fire. 
Well, they lock him in with a padlock. Wait, wait, we know he's in there. Why do that? <laughs> it's, it's okay, guys. Oh, let me tell you, it's not that easy to cut that lock. No! It's me! Take it from! <laughs> the three the inanimate oh objects! Oh my god, I've been in here for six hours. <laughs> I was going it crazy. It hasn't been that long, has no, it? It's no, it's been yeah. like, yeah, a couple hours. Hey, he's already going stir crazy. Surprised he's not on a prison regiment workout yet. Yeah, he should be doing push ups, handstand yeah. push ups against the wall. Exactly. You find a nice exposed pole and do pull ups on it. Then grab a towel, put the towel over the, uh, the pole and just start doing push ups or pull ups with the towel. Yep. Whoa. Why would I open my. Uh, there, you got some tits. Okay, yep. Oh, God. Here. That should be really good for your shield. I think you're good. Oh. Okay, just want to make sure. Just want to feel the blast against my skin. And yeah, make sure your equipment works properly. Those guys look like they'd like to feel the blast too. Yeah, <laughs> feel the blast of my bullets. <laughs> A riot shield, that'd be cool. Nah, I think I'm okay. I never do well with uh, those kind of, that kind of extra equipment. I just got to keep it simple. Okay, KSS, get in there and lock those doors to the left. Oh, okay, left. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Press the button. I'm, I'm assuming it's the giant red button. What? You, I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> like Freedom! you, like you would know. You know, that's something in video games. Like these guys are all knowing. Yeah. Like if I went up that thing, I'd be like, "How do you work this thing?" You know? <laughs> like, well, I don't know buttons. To I didn't turn. go to prison a oh, door. Big open area. Yeah, I didn't go to a prison door opening school. <laughs> Boss fight! Boss fight! Big open area boss fight! Oh god. Ceiling's gonna explode. A guy with two miniguns is gonna fall from the ceiling. And then you'll see in giant italic letters, <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> mm. Oh god. Yeah, that 9 mil is not gonna do a lot. Yeah. Of guns. Pretty sure all that... Armor is rated for nine mil. <laughs> but not that guy. Not that. See guy. that pink mist? Eat this. Bravo level. There you go. Make him yeah. run into the bullets. Yeah. So typically, like in a close firefight, uh, like we have battle drills, and a battle drill is a collective action rapidly executed without the application of a deliberate decision making process. Now, what that means is something you can do without thinking of it based on the scenario you're involved in. So, the closest battle drill to this, so we're kind of going back and forth between, you know, battle drill six, which is enter and clear a room, and then react to a near or far ambush. So this would classify as a near ambush since we're in a pretty open area. And those are actually the scariest scenarios you can find yourself in um, because you literally just need to turn and burn. And by that means, you know, everybody gets online and you literally just bound through the contact. Uh, actually, a really good example of this is if you watch Tears of the Sun at the end scene when they're in really close proximity of the guerrilla fighters, they do an excellent job of bounding through the contact, utilizing frag grenades, utilizing everything, just literally ripping as much as they can. So you're pretty much trying to gain the initiative through straight violence. Um, so that would be the tactic you would use here. But utilizing cover to your advantage, utilizing all your frag grenades, all the equipment that you have to fight through that clear, uh, that near contact. Oh, eat that cinder block. Oh, buddy. Why did you run up there? Come on, man. Communication error. Oh, detonate. Come on! Didn't see that coming, did ya, fools? Yeah, that'll teach you to mess with us. Yeah. Task Force 141 forever! Eat some plastic. I can't Woo, see. Woo, look at that guy. You that guy was doing, that dude was doing handstand push-ups. <laughs> Ballistic shields are actually really good tools. A lot of them are rated for pretty high caliber rounds, and if used properly, yeah, you can basically roll with as much cover as you want. Uh, you know, 
with limitations. Oh Obviously, yes, baby. In the military, you don't see a lot of use of riot shields or just ballistic shields in general. Um, I think they're great. Uh, I've seen videos of foreign militaries utilizing them and you'll just have the point man holding shield and that's his sole responsibility. And then you'll have like multiple people behind him with rifles over the shield and you could literally clear rooms by fire with the shield. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> But as far as just like a riot shield in a prison that aren't rated for any type of ballistic, uh, you know, protection, they would do absolute poop. You wouldn't do anything with them. They'd just get shot right through. Okay. Plus, you can always tell who, I think it's cool, you can always tell who the shield guy is because they will have pistol magazines on the same side as their pistol. And usually if you look at somebody like on a regular, uh, like gear belt or a, a, what we say, a war belt or a range belt, They'll have pistol mags on the opposite side of their dominant hand or whatever hand shooter they are. Because typically you'll hold the pit, like me, I'm a right hand shooter, so I put my magazines on my left side because when I reload, I come down to my left side to grab ammo. But shield guys, since they're constantly holding the shield, they reload by putting the pistol back in the holster and then grabbing ammo from the same side and putting it in and then coming back and racking it off the, off the shield. So you can always tell who the shield guy is. Plus, shield guys are absolute psychopaths. Alejandro was right. We need to finish them off or they'll give chase. You gotta be also, you gotta be really careful when you utilize vehicles as cover because there's only specific parts of a vehicle that can actually stop bullets. So if right. you're like, if you're standing behind a door, like bullets rip right through doors, especially higher caliber bullets. Um, also, one thing that people don't realize, if you're standing, you know, the engine block can stop bullets. So a lot of people tend to take knees behind the engine block and then put their guns on top of the vehicle to shoot. A lot of people don't realize that uh, rounds, if they hit the hood, will skip right off and you'll pretty much get domed right away. So by kind of taking, you know, three to five feet behind the vehicle and then just coming up the side like that, uh, will mitigate Freedom! the rounds from actually skipping, skipping off the hood and hitting you in the face. Freedom! There it is. Head for Price. Price is our savior. Where has this guy been the entire time? <laughs> I hope you guys uh, use a sender. Look at that. Everybody just carries one. Standard issue. Standard issue, a sender. No big deal. So where have you been this entire time? And you managed doctor. to keep the booty cap on. Doctor, 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 doctor. doctor. <laughs> I know it's a, a reunion and all, but like we have hundreds of people coming to kill us and we're just gonna stop on top of this really well lit bridge to have a good old, you know, quack. can touch quacks and shit, quack. but we got things to do. Detonate. Boom! It's rigged, just like our justice system! I love how that sheet metal wouldn't stop anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're safe. We got this one centimeter thick. Uh, oh God, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Come to Papa. <laughs> oh yeah, hit that. Boom. Yeah. Oh God, reload. That, that thing's so cool. Fry, fry a whole city block with this puppy. You guys here for the cookout? <laughs> you walking and talking, baby. Yeah, walking and talking. <laughs> Trademark. Walking Trademark. and talking. Yeah, you can't. You can't use that. Okay, that's yeah. mine. Walking and talking, baby. Walking and talking. Israel right. Walking and talking. Yeah. Oh, Marines, we are leaving. Yeah, I think we're trying to go. Sergeant, get on the road. Quick repel. Go, 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 face first, face first! Body repel, body Ooh. repel. There's no way. He just like, was like Zzz. Yeah. No just gloves! Bare, just barehanded. Yeah. Oh, he's got tiny little gloves. So, that's another thing that people don't realize. When you're doing any type of fast rope or rope thing, and if you don't have gloves on, you are gonna be in a world of hurt. Just take the first five layers yeah, off the skin. <laughs> the five layers. <laughs> Maybe, however, skin, you will see bone if you just rip down a rope with, with no gloves on. Like fast roping, whenever you fast rope onto an objective, you need really thick leather gloves on. And even on the rope, you can feel the heat from the rope when you're sliding. So, yeah. Shepard betrayed us? 
No way. You don't someone say. like him. No, that guy's a stand-up guy. You tell me an officer got to his point in the career by just being a stand-up person oh, man. and not betraying every single person underneath him? <laughs> That's not officer-like. Yeah. Cameron, you, yeah, you want to take this one? It's a, yeah, kind I of a short it's... mission. This is kind of a flashback scene. Well, I'm a short guy, so. All right, well, here you should be able to handle If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Bet he'd do it. So this is you yep, two yep, months yep, ago. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. You remember, like, uh, the, yep, if you guys can find it, yep, yep. You guys find the old, the old Sesame Street, the old, the old yep. puppets. Yep, 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 What's the call, sir? Vance, the Paula, go help him out. Dip, folks. What's the fuck? We're one of them! You boys like Mexico? Oh, geez. Not a good time to relive. Yeah, spray and pray, baby. <laughs> Contact rear. Actually, I prefer ineffective fire. Whoa! Let's go get this. I always ran out of the way. Cuss. I always need to cuss. I need to work on that. <laughs> I like you just ram it, maybe. You just ram it. I like you this just push it out of the way. Nope. Oh, where's my pistol? Ugh. Can you duck inside to? To save yourself. Can I? I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you need to. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that guy. Oh, my guy's grunting. He doesn't sound okay. I think he's going to pull through. That gun, you can, do it, gun. you can do it, man. You can do it. Come on, man. You're the main Give character. Give that gun. Long and full life. I'm gonna get shot. Ugh. I'm gonna look up and get punched in the face. Uh, uh, oh, come that's on. What happens. Shepper. Keep it on the books, folks. Everything on the up Everything and up. legit. That's right. The way you don't have to complicate your life. Right. Just keep it honest. What the hell wasn't I informed? Consider yourself well informed now, John. Oh, that's. Really fucking helpful. General, thank you, but you were a day late to miss our short list. Three of them. We only found two. Then point yourself in that direction and fix it. I know. That was so easy. Who fixes you, eh? Yeah, that's right. Who watches the watchers? We are all ghosts. Ghost team. That's dope. Oh, he takes off the mask. You see his face? Oh, he's, my God, he's beautiful. Look at those earlobes. <laughs> Good to see you again, it's, Simon. It's Tom Cruise. Wait, can I take the ghost mask? How many masks are there? <laughs> Wait, I just ran out. I wanted to come. Mine smells like sh Can I get a new one? <laughs> new ghost becomes old ghost. Nice. Very cool. More exciting times, folks. That was a blast. I loved the prison mission. Sneaking in and then busting out. That was my favorite part. We really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you go ahead and follow Gameology on Facebook and YouTube if you're not already.